Today I'm taking you on a tour of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge Kadani Village 3 bedroom grand villa. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. On this day, we are with my entire family. We are in room 7820. We're staying at Kadani Village and you will see initially the biggest difference between the three bedroom grand villa at Jamba House and Kadani is Kadani is two stories. So when you first walk in, you're going to see two closets and that additional bathroom. The reason why we purchased that Animal Kingdom is because their villas always have one additional bathroom that we make for the kids. With the two closets here, there's ample storage. We can even stick our stroller in the left closet, which was a game changer for us so that we didn't have to store multiple strollers in that foyer area. You can see in this bathroom, there is a tub, so it was perfect for the kids. They have plenty of storage for all of their toiletries on the shelf, and it's tucked away. So this is only for the kids. It worked out perfect every time they had a place to go if they ever needed a bathroom, and it was out in the open, so it wasn't attached to a room. Then you go into the foyer, you can see our owner's lockers there. Then there is a closet and this is where you're going to find your stackable washer and dryer. All DVC rooms that are one bedroom and larger come with a stackable washer and dryer. It's one of the benefits and features that attracted us to DVC. You'll notice this Kadani and Jumbo House, they're decorated with darker colors. They are due a remodel. I don't know when it's happening as Disney has been remodeling all of their resorts. So hopefully they brighten up these colors. But you can see here in the living room, there's plenty of space. We loved the two-story windows looking out on the Savannah. It was the best way to wake up every single morning. There is a drawstring, so you can close that for the person who is sleeping in the living room. Here is your kitchen area with a full-size fridge and freezer. The difference between this and the Jumbo house is I did feel like the kitchen was a little compact. You can see that there's really not a good spot for the trash can and the recycling bin. Also, this table only sat six, so it was a little difficult for all of us to find places to eat at the same time, unlike Jumbo house that had the longer large table. When you go upstairs, you're going to land in the loft area. I loved this loft area. The kids picked this as their domain. They slept on the fold-out couch up here. There's another TV, another set of dresser drawers. This room says it can sleep 12, but it definitely sleeps more than that, but the Disney Max is 12. You'll see a video of them in here after Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, dividing up all the candy that they got. They also have USB chargers here and plugs here. So it almost is another makeshift room within this villa. We're gonna go into the first of two rooms up here. When you come up into this room, you'll see there's a closet. To the left is the bedroom. There are two full queen beds in here, a desk, a set of dresser drawers. There's a balcony over there. There's a bench with storage inside. The closet also has a lot of storage. So with four people who are in this room, they can all unpack. There's ample space. I love that there's a desk in here because I am a person who works on vacation. And so I always find it useful when there is a desk. There is plenty of charging stations, USB and plugs on the desk, on the nightstand, and even on the dresser drawer. You'll also find the light switches for the sconces on the walls. So that way, if you wanted to turn off the main light, you could keep those on. The next area of this room is the closet. You will find extra bedding linens in there. You also have an iron in there. And again, a lot of storage to be able to put your larger suitcases in that closet. You'll notice these are not the taller remodeled beds. I don't know what they'll put in here, but again, so much closet space in this room. After this, you have the bathroom that is connected to this room. It is a shower tub combination. And then it also has one sink in here very large space so if you had a younger family who was also staying in this room with you you could give them this room and they have a privacy door that closes off the bathroom and the bedroom and this is like their own little studio suite within the grand villa 
Before we head to the other room, let's take a look at this balcony. Each room upstairs has their individual balcony. It's not connected across like the one downstairs and there are safety locks so you don't need to worry about security. When we go to the other side of the loft, this is the second room. This is where my sister stayed with her infant and husband. The difference in these two rooms is this one is an accessible room, which you'll see in the bathroom. I also put this clip in here so you can see what it looked like having the crib in this room whenever they were sleeping. This is when we were checking out. So it was so much space, even with that crib between the beds. This again has a desk. It has all the charging stations, the USB and the plugs available. There was so much storage in this villa. I feel like we could have stayed here for a week and been very comfortable. Then you go into the accessible bathroom. You'll already notice everything has the long handles here, even on that mid closet. Then you have the rails at the toilet. You also have the rails where the tub is, which for my sister was actually kind of nice because she was bathing an infant and bending over in this tub. So she was grateful to have them here, but we did not actually request an accessible room. This is what we were given. So when we head back downstairs, we're gonna go into the primary bedroom and the last space of this villa. The primary room is located off of the main living room. It has a privacy door on it as well. It's set up much like the rooms upstairs. So once you walk in, you have the closet that's straight in front of you. To the left, you're going to find the bedroom. On the right, you'll find the bathroom. This room is smaller than the Jumbo House primary bedroom, but still has plenty of space. You'll see all of the side tables, the desk, the dresser. Those all have USB ports. I love this little detail of Simba and Nala on the headboard. It's so cute. But plenty of dresser storage. For the working people, there's a desk there, so that's really nice. I love the layout of this villa because it has private spaces for larger families. There's so much space in here. You have the balcony. Now this balcony goes across the entire first floor. When you go into this closet, again, storage, and then your bathroom's on the right. The difference here is this has a separate tub and shower combination, which is why this is the primary bedroom. You see all the little details of the Lion King and the artwork and the shower curtain on the walls. The artwork on the walls is typically African inspired in all the main areas. Again, this is an accessible room. So you see it has everything you need for anyone who has a disability. There is still a TV in this bathroom too, just like Jumbo House. So if you want to take a bath and catch a movie, you can do that at the same time. I am sure we will be back. We had an absolute blast at this villa. My whole family loved it. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you real soon.